Those behind the cancellation of my father's victory do not want Tinubu to succeed. Jamiyu Abiola speaks. One of the sons of a late politician, Chief M.K. Wabiola, Jamiu, has alleged that forces behind the Enbad governance protests are the same ones that cancelled the 1993 presidential election in Nigeria, which was won by his father. He argued that the forces do not want President Bola Tenubu to succeed because the president supports his father. Jamiu, who is one of the appointees of the Tenubu's administration, made the submission on Friday as a guest on Channel Television's Friday's coverage of the protest. He said those protesting are very emotional and others in the same camp are bitter that they didn't win the 2023 election. Abelo went ahead to say that Tenubu is, diff is a different kind of president who needs to be given more time to fulfill his promises. A lot of Nigerians are looking at his president like every other president because a lot of them have experienced broken promises in the past. So as far as they are concerned, anything that seems difficult is another broken promise. The president we have now is a different kind of president because he believes in democracy. He believes in and loves the common man. He needs to be given time. Those protesting are emotional I have not sat down to think of the president's achievement since he resumed office. Some people have not still gotten over the fact that they were not destined by God to win the last year election. There are some people who have sinister who have sinister motives. There are some people who have sinister motive. The same people that worked against my dad and cancelled his election. Do you think they would want someone who was trying to support my dad to become president and succeed? In the same forces that we have now, he said. On the hardship in the country, Abiola said it should be seen as a test from God, which is not only peculiar to Nigeria. Sometimes for things to get better, it has to get tough. It is a test and it is from God. You see, God is testing people and it is not just in Nigeria. There is a hand of God in everything he explained. Can you imagine what this man is saying? You know, because of the, bear your father's name, I'm not going to call you Nikompu, to be very sincere. Because there are so many ways, there are so many adverbs I, I can choose to call you. But they don't just, they don't just qualify. They don't even describe, no, no, they don't describe you well at all. Just because you are a, you are a, you are, how are you so coming saying in the end for this tunable government, if I go bite my tongue, one of the, one of the sons of the late politician, Jamiu, you, you are coming out to yarn dust. You the yarn dust, now you they talk. Eh? Now dust, now you the yarn. You come and say they talk this kind of thing. I don't blame you. I don't blame you that they should see such a test of God. When suffering, behold your household or your daughter and son, they start turn that to distract the one after the other. Please, don't take them to the hospital. Make sure you keep them in your house and let them be telling them it's from God. Which kind of rubbish talk be this one? Eh? Just because, and the thing is, this is the problem. Because it is good for you, for that reason, every other person can go to hell. Because it is good for you, for that reason, any every other person, you are coming out to say it is your own suffering. When your family member they start to they strike them down one after the other, then you can tell your wife that it is a test from God. Maybe that is going to be okay. Can you imagine this kind of rubbish? <laughs> My God, it is suffering from God. Another Abiola picking. I'm wondering how how it would have been with so many children of Abiola as children of President Abiola, seeing Tenubu's son has been interfering in government affairs, and his daughter was going about to warn market women to warn their children not to. Did they even talk to you? They go too far. Your daddy will be turning in his grave by now because Tenubu did not win any election. Can you imagine that it's the people that did not win election that they are bitter? That people who are coming to protect their, their emotions. Because what is the meaning of this? You are coming out to tell us eh, that we are putting emotions. Ah, ah, not be your fault. Well, light alike of going to 40. Oh, God. If you are against Tenubu's government, you are an enemy of democracy. Things are hard over the Nigerians own is man-made. I will say it till 1,000 years to come. Nigeria has been prepared by God for us to overcome a lot of things. Only us. We get so many mineral resources. Down from crude oil to mineral resources like agriculture, food, 
everything to keep a nation going forward, everything to stand us as in the committee of nation. And yet we have so little just because of the governance, bad governance and mismanagement. Huh? And you are coming us to bear it as a test from God. When your, all your family members start to deceive you, sir, you can decide to keep them in your house and tell them it is a, it is a test from God. Which kind of rubbish talk be this one? Huh? Hey. I am so pink. Which kind of talk be this? <laughs> Very good. The same old Yoruba song that is now in the archives. Nigeria is no longer deceived by these worn out lyrics by government apologists. Just because you follow for this government. You know, like I will always say, I don't have a problem with you supporting Tunubu. But when you come out and say, he's doing well. God will do you well. The way they, they, they use get plans for this country. May God get plans like that for this country. Are you even okay? These people are busy using our money to flange up. Using our money to sponsor people going for lesser age. Kilo court, you work with lesser people going for lesser. What is our business? If you like, you fly to wherever, fly to the, 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 the spiritual realm. You know, with your money, it doesn't concern us. But there is our money to go these things. They won't build, uh, what's it called? A VP house. They use how many billion? They won't do road. All the things are capital intensive. No one is giving back revenue. And you're coming out to yarn this dust. Hmm. Hmm. What achievements have we made? Only thing is removing of subsidy. You are saying achievements. No achievements. Zero achievements. Zero. This is the most preposterous expression or opinion I've personally read in this first Sunday of August. I can tell you, I am certain that some critics will come after me with due to my... I am certain that some critics will come after me with this my submission, but I don't care. With due respect, most Nigerians are starving while majority are eating trash. I, I mean meals that even most English dogs will detest and reject. And an adult will come to the public to make inhuman assertions because you and family can afford whatever meal and care of life like you desire. Mr. Jamie, your brother, you got it completely wrong. Don't show us who are this. No, what do you mean? You they even fall and they talk small, small. She ain't reason on a matter that you fall and they talk small, small. She ain't reason on a matter. Can you imagine? You don't know what you are saying. Those who are protesting today are hungry. Prepared no one. Okay, are hungry. No one prepared or no one is forcing us to be on the streets. Your father did not become the president because of the games he played with the North against the Southwest. Remember his new, test new testament saga? I beg, I beg. All oh, this one no concern me. But wait and be see this man. Now, total rubbish. Now in the yard. I don't care whether I ended this government or not. But now because he didn't get enough. Because if he don't get enough, you know, can't they talk this rubbish when they talk. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the new piece. Thank you for telling me to listen until I come here next time. Enjoy the rest.